Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Ravindra and today I'm going to talk about mobile photography and how you can earn out of it. So basically, I'm going to talk about the stock photography and how it used to be a very good source of income before, which is not the case these days, but you can still continue to earn a good passive income out of it. So any photo that you take on your mobile device, it's, it will be saved over there in the Google Cloud or wherever you're saving it. It will be lying in your hard disk or on your mobile device without doing anything and maybe it's only for your memories but why not earn money out of the photos that are lying over there maybe you can just pick up some of the good shots that you have captured maybe you can exclude the family videos or you can even include that if you do not really worry about it but okay let me tell you what exactly i do the photos that i have got on my mobile device i just upload it if i find it really interesting or if it is some really nice photo it not it need not be that photogenic or it need not be something that the advertisers will like it or something but you never know who the people are who are interested in what kind of photography just upload it to stock photography maybe 10 photos a day and by end of year you'll be having some 3600 photos 365 days right so yeah 3650 photos uploaded that's a huge number of photos and let me tell you some time back in 2013 or so i had uploaded some 300 photos and i have generated almost like close to 30 to 40,000 rupees out of the 300 photos that I had uploaded and it was like upload and forget and you just earn. It was not much of an amount but every year I used to get some 10,000 rupees and without doing anything it's just that I'm uploading photos over there and I'm earning money out of it and even today I get that but it, it is not as much as how much it used to be before. If, but if you have this question in mind like can I make money from stock photography? then I would say that yes you can but you cannot make that as your full time income unless you have a team of people working day and night dedicated for stock photography and you know what exactly the advertisers need. Maybe I'll discuss on what kind of photography that you need to do in a separate video in detail so that you can earn better income out of the stock photography. But for now, I will stick around to the photos that you have captured using your mobile device and what this stock photography is and where you can upload. Coming to how to earn money out of mobile photography, so there are a few websites that I will let you know. So the best stock photography sites for beginners include iStock is something that I started with and that's where I generated the highest income because you need to upload a few initial photos which they will approve and once your account is approved you can upload n number of photos and they will validate if it's approved by them or not. It doesn't take much of a time for my photos to get approved on iStock or Getty or ESP. Uh, it was iStock before now it's taken over by Getty so I have this ESP login now so it shouldn't take much time for you to get it approved on iStock but when it comes to other websites like Shutterstock or 500 pixel or Alme or uh, or Adobe stock. Well, it's hard in some of the websites to get it approved or even to create an account over there. But once you get it approved, it is a bit easier for you to upload photos. And some of them still maintain that strict standard. Whereas I do not find it that strict when it comes to iStock. I've seen my own mobile photos being approved these days. And you can get some real decent good quality photos even using your mobile device. So that shouldn't be a problem in getting a high quality photos because even your ordinary camera these days come with a 64 megapixel or 108 megapixel. You can get some decent images unless you are shooting in low light which will usually get rejected if it's captured using a mobile device. So make sure that you capture some good photos using your mobile device during daytime or wherever there is enough light. So coming to the next point on how to earn from stock photography. So when it comes to stock photography, there are different ways to capture it. You need to identify what exactly is trending during that particular season. Say for example, right now in Finland area or in uh, most of the European countries, it's vacation time. So I would capture some photos two months in advance of people going on vacation or somewhere camping outside in the nature. So those are the kind of photos that you can expect to sell. So those are the photos that I'll be uploading at least one or two months in advance so that your advertisers will be looking and trying to advertise their customers at least a month in advance. And also these websites in the contributor section, they will be mentioning what is trending or what are the kind of photos that they expect. And you can directly use that tag and then upload those photos. So there are higher chances of 
those images getting recognized and being sold. The next point is you can even shoot videos at home. You don't have to go outside or anywhere. Uh, even you can shoot some interesting photos using uh, the basic things that are at home. You don't need to have a separate studio for that. I'll be making a separate video out of it in the coming days. So stay tuned and subscribe to my YouTube channel. By the way, you can join my friend zone. I'll be sharing many more tips of this kind. I have got a newsletter and there is a link in the description. So subscribe to my newsletter so that you get all the latest updates and tips on how you can generate income. And also I'll be sharing many more content only with my subscribers and in the friend zone. So go ahead, subscribe to my YouTube channel and also to the newsletter.